Hello everyone and welcome to an updated review of my plugin Questworld. Uh, this spotlight is about Questworld version 2.2 I think. Yeah, 2.2 is right. And today I'm just going to show you what I've added in between the last showcase and this one. There's a lot of stuff which has been added, not much has changed. Uh, however, I want to thank you guys for all your suggestions and for your bug reports and everything. It helps me improving the plugin and just keep giving feedback. I like it when people enjoy my work and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, let's just get to the showcase real quickly. As you can see, I have two players sitting there. They are not actually online. Well, I am online, but uh, those are NPCs by the plugin Citizens. And yes, you heard that correctly. Quest World 2 now officially supports Citizens. Uh, it has been requested a crap ton. I had a poll running on the plugin page and I think 80 people voted on that and uh, 70 or so or 60 uh, voted for citizens. <laughs> so I think 80% of people wanted citizen support and here it is. Um, before I'm going to show that I'm just going to whoa, uh, go over all the stuff that has changed in the quest book. In the normal GUI, not much has changed, except for the fact that you can now disable the party menu if you don't want parties to be enabled. You can just disable it. It will then uh, transform into an item saying quest book, then shows your progress and it cannot be opened. Uh, so that's about the party menu. Uh, the quest editor has not much change at all. It's still working the same way. And you can just create a category. I'm just going to call this one showcase. And if you now delete a category, it will ask you, are you sure? Because a lot of you uh, people have been having trouble with deleting quests or categories accidentally. And this is now prevented by giving this question, yes, I'm sure, or no. If you click no, it's not going to be deleted. If I click yes, I'm sure, it will be deleted. Pretty self-explanatory. And about the quest, uh, about the category editor, uh, I think nothing has changed at all. All right, uh, there's a back button now. If you edit a quest or a category, you can go back to the menu you were previously on. And if I open up this category, uh, I can also go back to here because a lot of you have also requested this, and I added it because I listened to requests. Uh, anyway. I'm just going to create a new quest here, test one. And if I edit it, you can see uh, there's a new button. I think it's this one, yeah. Comments executed upon completion. If you hit claim reward, not only will be given items, XP, money, and that's it, uh, but also comments uh, will be executed. You can left click this to open up a comment editor it's using Telwar. If this doesn't show up, I'm pointing at my screen, you can see this. If this doesn't show up here, uh, you probably install installed an older version of CS Callum. So go ahead and update CS Callum and it should work fine. If it still doesn't work with the latest version of CS Callum, just nag me on Bucket uh, or via my contact form or on my website and I will gladly update it. Uh, but only if you provide me your bucket version or spigot version, because some versions don't know, I know that for sure. Uh, some future versions might not work as well. So just PM me your bucket or spigot version and say, uh, you know what to say. Anyway, I can just add more comments here by clicking on this. And yeah, you can use the variable add p and just type it in. So if I want to say, say add p, yeah, you can do that. And you can see now there's a comment say at P, yeah. You can click this X to remove a comment, so it's removed. But I'm going to add this back in. And yeah, that's it for the comments executors. You can add up to, I think, what was the number again? It was somewhere between 1.2 billion and 1.2 trillion. I don't know what it was again, but you can add pretty mm, uh, a lot of comments, as you can see. Uh, this can be used for permissions or background handling for 
I don't know, you come up with something. But this was requested a lot as well, so that's why I added in. That's why I added it in. And now about the new quest mission stuff. So if I click uh, a new, if I create a new task here, uh, it's still submit one stone by default. But if I want to delete that, it's also going to ask me. Yes, I'm sure. No, you know what it is. Anyway. You can now see all quest types which are available on the server. Some of them are not available if you don't have the specific plugins installed. Like citizens submit and citizens interact only work if you have citizens installed. It's not going to be shown uh, if you don't have that installed either. And votifier vote also requires votifier. So yeah, uh, you can see you can scroll through that by clicking on it. Uh, there's a new quest called a new quest type called reach location, reach location. You can change that to your current position. And uh, if people open up their quest book and see this mission, they can just click to manual detect that. So you could create quests like walk up to this village and complete a quest. So another thing I added was uh, was fishware and before or did I add that? I think I added that. So I can now also uh, create fishing quests, so it works with any item. For example, a bacon wrap cheese filled hot dog, if you want that. Because when fishing items, you can, as you know, also get uh, things like boots, name tags and some weird stuff, I think. And you can use that for any item. Pretty cool, in my opinion. But mainly this is for to be fish. So another quest uh, I added was Votifier Vote. So if you have Votifier installed and set it up correctly, up on uh, every, pay p bleh. every player voting, it will trigger any quest related to this and you can set up voting quests. Isn't that cool? So you don't need any voting listeners. You can just set up some quests and they get items, money, comments, whatever. Uh, pretty useless if you have give anything listener, listener or so installed, but if you want to combine that with your quest book, you can do so. Anyway, uh, another quest is a quest type is Citizens Interact, and you can specify the name of a citizen here. Uh, I'm going to use Mr. Cookie Slam here, this is, that's this guy here, uh, me. And yeah. The quest is now talk to Mr. Cookies Lamp. So if you have citizens installed and have a NPC running around called Mr. Cookies Lamp, uh, people can talk to him and they will complete a quest. Uh, I'm just going to give them one dollar then. And another quest is uh, where is it? Citizen submit. Uh, this one also works with that, but I'm going to use the farmer here. And for the item. Uh, let's give myself some bread and where's the quest that is uh, give how many four so you can have now your task is now to give farmer four bread pretty self-explanatory so if I open up my quest book here and go to that quest you can see Talk to Mr. Cookie Slam and give four bread to farmer. So if I talk to Mr. Cookie Slam now, by the way, it says admin, admin Mr. Cookie Slam because I have rank prefix plus installed. Uh, link to that is on my website. Shameless self advertisement here. And if I talk to him, you can see you now get a message because if you complete a task, uh, you can now get a message which is, which is configurable in the messages.yml. Uh, people have also requested that. They requested it for quest completion, but I thought task completion makes more sense. Uh, also because my code isn't set up like that, but it is set up like that, so that's easier for me to do. So, short, I'm lazy. Anyway, another quest uh, I had to do was give for bread to farmer and you can see that's completed so citizens quests do work perf perfectly uh, and if I give farmer now 
forward. You can see I completed that quest as well. Uh, I can now claim my one dollar. <laughs> oh, and it also executed the comment I specified. Oh yeah, by the way, another thing I forgot to mention is that the kill name mob quest type uh, now supports color codes, so people can no longer abuse it with name tags by simply applying a name tag to a zombie. Uh, because you can now use color codes and people can't use color codes and name tags. So anyway, that's it for this update spotlight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, link to Quest World 2 uh, and Seas Call Lab, which is a requirement for Quest World 2, will be both provided in the video description. And see you next time. Bye.